Howdy, folks. You have uh, found another Digital Media Zone screencast here. Today is all about Media Center customization. Did you ever go into Media Center and you open it up here in a second? Yes, it's on my laptop again. Uh, for those who have watched previous screencasts, I know it takes a second. So we open it up and you ever, did you ever go in here and just say, God, you know, I, I, don't, I don't use half of this crap. Why is all this stuff here? It's just, I, I got to scroll through it every time I use it. And it's, ugh, I'm fed up. Well, you're not going to have to do that if, after today. The first thing we want to do when we talk about customization is adding content. Let's talk about adding content first. Now, I've installed both Boxy and Hulu Desktop on this system. And Techno Webworks makes these two great little batch files or applications, whatever they might be, called Boxy Integration and Hulu Desktop Integration. So we're going to install those real quick and take a look at exactly what they do to your Media Center. So let's get those installed. Uh, it'll take just a second here. It never takes too long, even on this slow little computer here. Um, but this is going to allow you, you know, what I like about these two pieces of software, these two little applications is when it integrates Boxy and when it integrates Hulu Desktop to Media Center, the first thing it does is put a start menu entry point. It's great. You can click it, you go right to, the, to, right to that application. The other thing I like about these is everything's automatic. So when you, and we'll demonstrate that real quick. Um, after we do this and we set these up, if you're in Media Center and you select, say, Boxy, what happens is it closes Media Center. This little application in the back called Boxy Watcher uh, runs in the background and oh, it closes Media Center and opens Boxy. Same thing. When you exit Boxy, it closes it and opens Media Center. So everything is relatively seamless. You might get a flash of the desktop. Uh, of course, you know, that's going to happen, but it, it's, it's, it's a fully remote control 10 foot solution, uh, which is what we all want, right? Nobody wants to have their home theater PC hooked up in the living room and need a mouse and a keyboard in order to run other applications. Uh, so this is a really good way to integrate this. There's another one for Boxy out there done by Missing Remote, works really, really well. Um, the only reason I don't like it is because of the fact that it minimizes Media Center as opposed to closing it. And because of that, you end up with a situation where um, basically if you use the play and pause buttons in Boxy, it'll also play and pause whatever you might have been playing previously in Media Center, meaning you can end up having two audio streams playing at the same time and not be able to hear anything. So let's take a look here real quick and see what's changed in Media Center. And yeah, you're going to get to hear the handy dandy little Media Center opening sound uh, repeatedly. So I don't feel like turning off speakers. So you can see here we've added a Hulu uh, entry point and a Boxy entry point to our Media Center. When we click Boxy, let's watch the magic happen. There's our Boxy Watcher. And boom, Boxy goes full screen for us. Uh, now with the screencast, I don't know if you can see this or not uh, because it is full screen. Um, that may be an issue. So we're going to exit Boxy. I know Media Center doesn't work in full screen. Boxy Watcher's still running. Okay. Boxy Watcher finishes. Boom, Media Center comes up. So again, you can see, and it does the same thing for uh, Hulu. For Whoops get that back to windowed mode. Uh, it does the same thing for Hulu. Uh, drops, you know, drops Media Center, opens Hulu Desktop, you're all set. And you can see I've also installed Media Browser. This is what we use in our home to do everything. Love Media Browser. Works great if you have a lot of stored content, okay? Uh, you're not going to see Media Browser work at its best here today. Again, two reasons. One, slow computer. Two, the files I'm using and the setup that I've done in Media Browser, uh, which I can actually go ahead and show you here real quick, um, are pulling across the network, okay? Uh, so they're not local. I've never worked with that before. I don't know, maybe others have, and they've had better experience, but you can see I've just set up two, uh, two media points here for uh, Media Browser, but both of these, as you can see, come, uh, come from across the network. So you may not get to see any fancy cover art or anything like that while we're doing this. So we've got our Boxy integration, we've got our Hulu desktop integration, we've got Media Browser, but the thing is, again, the menu is really long. To, it's really long to scroll through all of that, and quite honestly, if I'm not using this stuff, it's kind of a pain 
to have to bop through everything. And maybe there are certain things you don't want available to other people in the house because you don't want them to break anything. Well, this is where Media Center Studio comes in really handy. And I love this application. Uh, Media Center Studio lets you do a whole lot of customization stuff in Media Center, backgrounds and everything. But what we're gonna focus on today is all about the start menu, okay? So here you can see, you can change themes, you can you can create a new theme and everything, uh, change your background images, all that stuff. But what we wanna look at today is directly in the start menu. So let's get that loaded up. Now again, like I said, look at all this. I mean, single entry points on things and, and stuff that I don't use. Maybe there's stuff you don't use. So we look at, let's look at tasks. And first we can talk about individual items. When it comes to Media Center, I'm not sure I need to learn more at this point. There's always more to learn, but just not about not what they're going to provide me. Uh, I'm not going to burn CDs or DVDs. I'm not going to sync anything. I don't need to add an extender to this box. And I certainly don't need to tune my network so I can turn all that stuff off individually. I can also do this. Most people who know me know I'm, I'm not a sports guy. I don't watch them. And I, I, I do watch from time to time, but I'm certainly, I don't, don't need this. So now we can turn this whole bar off, Okay. Uh, TV in here shows us two bars. I think one's pre-set up and one's post-set up, but we leave that alone. Now, because I'm using Media Browser, I also don't need movies. There's, there's no need for it. Um, when it comes to pictures and video, I don't want to play favorites. I just want picture library and video library there. Now, here's where the fun happens. Uh, you know what? Let's turn off extras too, because we don't want that up there. Here's where the fun comes in. We've got three bars here, all with a single entry point. Well, that to me makes no sense. So let's drag Hulu up here. Let's drag, whoop, if we can grab it, let's drag Boxy up here. And I want Boxy first. I use that more. And then, you know what? It's not just Media Browser anymore. So let's rename this to, oh, I don't know, uh, um, Extra Content. Okay. So we'll rename our bar to Extra Content. Now, I'm also going to turn these two off. I don't want them to show up as blank. I don't think they will. I, I don't think a bar will show up if there's nothing there, but we'll turn them off just to be safe. Now, we can absolutely leave Media Browser here as an entry point, and that'll take us in, and from within Media Browser, we can choose whether we wanna watch movies or TV shows or however you have set up your Media Browser collection. Um, if you saw mine there, I have one section that's movies, one that is classic TV. So, you know, if I, I know whether or not I wanna watch movies or TV, and there's no sense in loading everything, right? Well, down here, we have our entry points. Now, this adds a whole bunch of stuff that we can automatically drop into the main menu of Media Center. And here you'll even see Hulu Desktop and Boxy. I don't use this because I don't know for sure whether or not uh, it'll close Media Center. I've never used it, okay? I've only ever used uh, um, uh, the integration. And I don't know whether or not this will allow you to do it in such a way that, uh, oh, yay, shut up. Um, I don't know whether or not this will allow you to do things in such a way as to where it will actually close Media Center for you, okay, which obviously could, could be a problem. But again, I know whether I want to watch movies. I know whether or not I want to watch TV. So let's go ahead and create us some new entry points. So there's one for movies. And let's put TV here. And let's go ahead and remove the Media Browser entry point. I have no need for it. So you can see now what we've done. We've kind of gotten rid of some bars. We've consolidated some, we've put them together. So now let's save our changes in Media Center Studio. Okay, close out. Now one thing, you cannot make changes in Media Center Studio and save them as long as Media Center is running. Now that includes on extenders. Any Media Center session that's open will not allow you to save changes. And Media Center Studio will tell you that. It'll ask if you wanna close Media Center. All right, so now let's go take a look. We've made our changes. Let's see what we get now. I'm curious if things are a little more consolidated and a little easier to navigate maybe. All right, so let's go look. First of all, we've shrunk our taskbar. We don't need all those icons there. There's our TV, there's our music, pictures and video, great. And then extra content, movies, classic TV, boxy and Hulu desktop. So now we've completely customized this menu to exactly what we use. If you don't play music on your media center and you don't feel that you need the music library, get it out of there. Same with TV. Maybe you don't use media center for any kind of uh, broadcast television. Get it out of there. Um, this is really a great way to 
I'm a minimalist when it comes to these menus. I don't want to have to jump through 20 entry points to get to where I want to be. Uh, so removing things you don't use is, is a great way to do that. And Media Center Studio allows you that option. Uh, so that's it, really. We've uh, we've integrated some extra applications. We've consolidated menus. We've customized our menus and kind of put things together. So uh, that's it. This has been another Digital Media Zone screencast for Windows Media Center. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have questions, be sure and send me an email, info at the digitalmediazone.com, and I'll be happy to help. Uh, you'll find links to all of these applications that I use today in the post over at the digitalmediazone.com. And I thank you for watching.